welcome back. Well, I think you can tell that I'm not entirely um, happy with the results, but it is to be expected. I think the problem is that the whole of the wing is being used as operand A, whereas really I need to isolate just the section where the boolean is being applied. Um, I don't need to apply another turbo smooth to this, so that's not going to be a problem. And I must admit that I am thinking a little bit further down the line when it comes to um, applying materials and uh, UVs. So, let's see if we can undo this. Right, let's pop on to 1, which is our line 1. And uncheck cookie and is it extract selected there we go and it has reversed it and it's put our wing back to its original state so hey that's okay right let's um, select this for a moment and I want to hide it so I could just click on it and say hide the selected hide the selected there and I'll reselect the wing it's still in boolean um, easiest way to remove that right click convert to editable poly there we go We're back to this let's pop into our bottom view so that's B on the keyboard zoom in I'm keeping our copy just in case things don't go right so we'll leave that there. Now, let's pop down to Polygon. Ignore back facing, so by pressing that it won't select the polygons behind us. Um, we're on select. A little tip for this one. When you want to select an area, press that left click and drag out. If you press uh, well I'll give you a quick demonstration if you press that and you start clicking that's what happens and then you go undo so it's easier just to be on here and then you select. Let's Alt X first of all I want to see the area I need to select so down there See, we're not dragging it all over the place now. Bring that out to there. So we're getting all the polygons that will be sort of affected by the area. I'm trying to keep it neat and tidy. Um, press Control here and just drag that across. So that bit, of, and then Control again. Select that section select to move and pressing shift I'm just going to make a copy of this just move it slightly there we go just a little bit and I want a clone to the object and this object I'll just call it undercarriage O1 for the time being click OK and then just zoom in so now I do need to deselect uh, the wing and go for the undercarriage because I just want to line it up because we moved it a little bit so lining it up to where it was originally and now it should be completely in line if I press Alt X we can see that and you see it sort of uh, hatched around here and that's telling me that it is touching the surface of the wing so now we've got a copy of that section of the wing and that is what we're going to apply our boolean to let's go into our perspective viewport which is P on our keyboard rotate around a little bit and there we can see now how it nicely fits the profile once again. So 
up to our layers manager and front wing and I think now we can hide the wing itself and unhide line 1 ok let's zoom in a little bit there it is and now we want to be applying our boolean once again so deselect select the undercarriage down to compound objects pro boolean and let's try the process again so we have this selected union undercarriage we're in subtraction and let's start picking so start picking there now then how is that looking well I don't know about you but that looks a damn sight better there's no artifacting in there no deformations we can live with this I'm quite happy with that for the time being let's try something out now this is still in the boolean stage so if we go into modify there we can see it's still pro boolean so we need to um, convert this yes we do convert to an editable poly once again well sorry about that but the system crashed but now that we've converted it to an editable poly um, I have noticed that there is some artifacting in that corner again and it's running down there which I know will end up giving us problems so I'm just wondering now whether it's worthwhile using boolean on this I mean it does save quite a bit of time actually cutting the shape out but even with pro boolean if we're getting this artifacting after uh, we've applied it and converted it to an editable poly then I really don't see the point however this is where we learn um, and who knows a little bit of persistence may pay off what I'm going to do is convert this back uh, to a boolean so let's go undo pro boolean I'm going to select that one and we're going to extract the selected okay so we've got that back now click off that click onto that I'm going to make a copy of this uh, simply because it is the shape and it's got the right angle there so press shift let's drag it down line 2 say OK now I'm going to go back onto the undercarriage pro boolean let's go subtract this time I'm going to go cook it and start picking and select that one so what we've got is a cutout okay let's now convert this come on convert editable poly let's have a quick look let's just hide this one for a moment hide selected have a look at this okay it's got rid of the artifacting round in that area right now you may think this seems like a lot of faffing around and to some extent it is but the alternative is to spend a considerable amount of time actually cutting all this out 
So Okay, let's press on. We'll select it. I'm gonna to go to um edge. Oh about border, see if we can select border. Select the border there. Let's just rotate around a little bit. I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna drag that up a little bit. And now you can see just how many um sections there are to this. So I've created a lip in there and we're gonna leave that as it is. Let's pop up to our layers manager into the front wing and we're gonna unhide the line two section. Let's deselect this so up to root and select this. I'm gonna bring it up. Got that at the moment. Now into um, well, let me go polygon first. Select that. I'm just going to take that up to somewhere around there. Let's the rotate tool. Rotate this around a little bit. move tool. All I'm doing is trying to line it up uh, close to the fuselage, or sorry, to the wing section. So what I intend to do is actually model this section as a separate part. Um, I know that time's pressing for this session. So let me hide this for time being. Uh, come out of that. Um, hide the selection and I'll unhide the wing itself so front wing um, unhide that alt X we'll select it alt X so we can see it go into the bottom viewport so that's B on the keyboard zoom in. Now what I intend to do is actually delete these polygons that um, this section will occupy. So if I quickly select the undercarriage and then say freeze that selection I can see it grayed out. Now we can select the wing and if I pop down to polygon, make sure I'm on the select tool. Let's drag this out. Select those there. Press control. And select these down here. And still on control, select that one. And then press delete. I know that time's pressing, so we'll continue this in the next session. I'll catch you then.